Gents, let's get uh, to your stock picks for today. So, like, what are you picking? Yeah, I'm going with uh, Microsoft. I think uh, their stock has come under quite a bit of pressure. I mean, uh, the market has been disappointed uh, with its uh, uh, artificial intelligence uh, capabilities. But I do think that if there is one company that's going to be able to build capabilities around artificial intelligence, it's Microsoft. And I think that uh, the pullback uh, from over $460 has uh, given one an opportunity to maybe uh, consider it at these levels. All right. Graham, where are you seeing opportunity right now? Um, I'm, I'm going into the UK and buying or recommending a company called Diageo, which is a, effectively a spirits business. They've got a little bit of beer and, and, and so on. But um, great portfolio of, of um, spirits, global brands, obviously the likes of Johnny Walker, um, lots of single malts, um, lots of regional brands. If you look in the US and uh, Canada, for example, it's just an absolute powerhouse. Um, you know, um, it's come off quite sharply of, of late. Obviously, disposable income, inflation, um, hurt consumer spending, uh, particularly in Latin America and the Carib Caribbean and, and in places like Mexico. Um, yeah, so if I look at this business, I think it's fundamentally quite defensive. Um, you listen to management, very, very clinical around costs and capital allocation, but at the same time being quite visionary about, for example, doing with tequila, crazy as it sounds, with what they did with scotch. So I think there's there's quite a lot of optionality on the upside, and at its core, it's actually quite a defensive business. And it's very much geared, ultimately, long term to... Um, to the emerging wealth in, you know, um, in the developing continents, um, in Asia, particularly, I think in, in places like China and India. So I think it's a, it's a very, very well-placed business and it pay, pays a pretty decent dividend yield as well, around 4%. So I think the Asia sort of 25 pounds to me looks very tempting. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time and for your analysis today, gents. Much appreciated. That is all for tonight's Stock Watch. Thanks to our guest, Graham Kerner from Kerner Perspective and Zolai Kemguni from Benguela Global Fund Managers. Up next, the close. Stay tuned.